Hello, I'm a DCU graduate. I'm a Bachelor of Engineering in uh, Information and Communications Engineering. And I wish to review Dublin City University and my study period there. Well, um, it's up to you actually to decide whether you want to, uh, to enter the DCU or not. But I'm going to uh, uh, give my view of why you should not enter DCU. Not because it's a, a bad university, it's a good university, but uh, you will see from the reasons why, when, I'm, when I would say them. Well, first of all, you need to, uh, to uh, understand that uh, after you graduate from DCU, like myself, you are not considered uh, their student or their graduate or their men, you know, like, like, like they support you as bigger brothers. They don't do that at all. They treat you as if you are a stranger. You just go have your fucking course and then leave and go to hell and that's all. This is DCU. And uh, precisely I'm talking about the School of Electronic Engineering. I'm not making any false accusations or any false information. Everything is with evidence. They have clear evidence of them. So, and I'm not insulting this year. It's, it's a very good university, but the staff are very bad. Okay, so let me start by the first one, the first reason why you shouldn't, as I said, when you graduate, you just you go to hell. That's all. We don't know you anymore. Uh, why? I give you an example of this. Uh, I'm a DC gra graduate. I applied for a master's degree through the uh, PAC dot. Uh, IE website, which is a, an Ireland uh, center for uh, postgraduate uh, grad, graduate applications. You, you just submit the applications there and then they uh, forward it to uh, DCU or any other university. Um, by default, the PSC website uh, asks to uh, the, the the applicant to state uh, to state a reference, two references, but it should be for for like someone coming from India or Saudi Arabia or um, or even another Irish university, which uh, basically a DCU does, does not actually know. Who is that person? But to me, after studying at six years at DCU, non-stop from year one to, to until I graduated as an engineer, I found the person who is responsible for the master's degree asking the references about me which is extremely fucking ridiculous and uh, it's weird and it's actually an insult from them from that person to DC you because if you're gonna ask about DC you students uh, about references about them about their personalities then wh how the fuck am I a, a graduate from DC you so this is related to the first reason that I'm, I just said that after you graduate, you're nothing to them. Don't believe that you, you will have like uh, the lecturers will be your friends. They will, you will have like a good or or, or like no, uh, good not friendship as is, as uh, more like uh, they were 
teaching you throughout the course. No, no, this is not DC. This you, you just go into the course and just get the hell out of the, the place. Don't give a shit about students or anyone. Second reason, uh, and actually, not just, not just that. They stay, they refuse my application. And they are very, very, very discriminatory about, and uh, racist about people with foreign origins. Like myself, I'm an Irish citizen, but I'm originally from somewhere else. These are very racist. And, uh, and by saying racist, I'm not, I do not say I accuse them of their being racist. Racism is a feeling. It's up to me to decide if they are racist or not. It's up to me to feel if they are racist or not. They, are dis dis they discriminated against me. They are racist. And I don't believe there are any other reason except for, for the reason that I'm not originally from Ireland. Unless they don't like my face, which is again racism. Face, color, anything related is called racism. So that's the, the again for, for the first reason. My application was turned down and I was insulted on the PSE website. They called me an unsuitable. So they called their students, their graduates, their engineers, unsuitable. So this is DCU for you. When you graduate from DCU, they, they may, because I'm not sure if it's just individual, if it just hit me or not, but they may consider you as unsuitable engineer. So do you really wish to enter such a university and uh, graduate and, and the staff calls you, uh, na calls you names that you are unsuitable and insults you? And the, 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 stupid, the stupid people, the idiots there, they don't know that they are insulting actually the whole university because I'm a DCU student, a uh, graduate. I represent DCU. If, they, if someone insults me as, a, as, a, as being unsuitable, then DCU is unsuitable. And then all the lecturers, all the, the, the PhD lecturers at DCU are, are failures. If they say I'm a failure and unsuitable, they are insulting themselves. And also they are insulting Professor Brian McCress, which does not give a shit about my, my I emailed him twice or maybe three times to complain about me being insulted. And he does not give a shit. If while he actually said in front of thousands of people in during my graduation ceremony that every student is evaluated to the DCU standard. So calling me unsuitable is unacceptable and is an insult. And if he was a good professional president, he should take extreme action against that someone who named his graduate unsuitable. Because if I am unsuitable, then everyone is unsuitable. Then, then Mr. Bill Clinton, the ex-president of the United States, is also unsuitable. So I'm not sure what, what the heck is Professor Brian thinking and why is he ignoring my issues? So this is the first thing. Basically, you just graduate and you go to hell. The second reason why uh, you, ne you need to understand, there is no overall result. There is no overall result in your certificate. 
you will get a certificate when you finish a Bachelor of Engineering, Hans even did, did not bother to write it honors. Like Hans it's like a short for honors. They actually wrote it on the on the, the on the on the certificate itself, Hans, which is extremely funny. And they did not state an overall. There is no overall at DC. I understand that they have their own rules counting year four as the as the the, 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 the overall. But this is rubbish. This is pure rubbish. Because the word overall means overall of the whole program from year one to four. Not only year four. And I believe it's called accumul accumulative uh, something like that. Like, like it's, it, it's, it's just like it's an average overall. Like, like, the, like there is no overall. Even I, uh, I talked to employers and recruiters from Ireland and the UK and the EU and the US. They were very, uh, they were laughing, seeing the, the, that the certificate doesn't say your overall. And again, if this you believe that year four is the overall, how the heck is it the overall result? That's, that's the second reason. There is no overall result. So if, you, if they tell you that in year four, that's your ever, overall result, that's not it. This is not recognized in the UK or the US or the EU. Unless they, sp they specify on a, a separate paper or a, on the certificate itself, or they write a note on the certificate to look at the at the further transcript, say stating the final overall of all years. There is no overall at this year. That's the second point. Third point is you go into year one. So, uh, yeah, first of all, uh, they close down uh, many courses which were funny, with funny names, because of the, uh, I was told by the, uh, the head of school that, of electronics that uh, the, 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 the Department of Education thought that it's an inappropriate, because they had uh, a common entry and you choose either uh, information communication engineering or digital media engineering or electronic engineering besides the mechatronics and biomedical and uh, mechanical. So in year one, now, now they closed all, all of this and there is only uh, the mechanical, mechatronics, biomedical and electronic and computer engineering. And I will tell you why they did this. That's like the, I think the third reason, the fourth reason is you go into year one, you find yourself uh, studying something like uh, things like leaving cert. Uh, you just uh, and, and uh, some works, workshop, uh, you build like a stupid airplane uh, by uh, uh, al aluminium airplane and, uh, and the car, which uh, it's not actually even even the, the the marks on the car they don't give shit about about the, 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 the engineering the design of the car itself they only give give you marks for the when you play with the car and get and and, and score uh, goals which is stupid and at the end of year one you find yourself and all your friends you make a lot, lot of friends in this year but do not make friends with lecturers because they are not friendly. We don't make friends with their students. Again, back to square one, to point number one. Um, at the second semester of year one, you find yourself 
that previous students are telling the, your friends, the current students, to choose mechatronics or mechanical or biomedical to avoid programming. Again, which is stupid from the CU and the failure. But the other should give a clear picture of the whole problem because they don't they don't do that at all they only said uh, back when they had ma many measures that uh, e electronic engineering uh, engineering course has the least programming and then the uh, information communication in engineering has the more program and digital media has the much pro and mechatronics has no programming is it is that way for a professional way for a, for a university to advise students to to choose a major depending on the how easy is the the, the, is the study Again, it's a failure from this year. Now in year two and three, if you entered the electronic and, and uh, computer engineering, you will find yourself having uh, about 40 to 60% of the course each semester programming. And you will find yourself. Uh, you, you, they only have only one person who is the who is teaching programming, and do do not again get friendly with him because he is tricky. He is betraying person. I uh, he knows himself. His name is Derek. And his brother as well teaches uh, programming. I'm not insulting him or anything, but he, uh, out of no reason, without any explanation, except hatred and racism and discrimination, he refused to support my application for master's in engineering. He just sent me an email just to hurt my feelings, saying that... Uh, I'm not, I will not, uh, sorry, I, uh, I will not support your application. Why? I, I got very decent work in his modules, yet he is showing hatred. His name is Derek Molloy, only because he contradicts himself. They have evidence of that. He's at the acting head of school at 2017 and 2016. And the year before, the acting head of school transferred my paper to a, an external examiner through my chairperson, my program chair. Now this time, this time, uh, Derek said that he cannot, and it's out of his authority, to, uh, to uh, transfer my paper to uh, an external examiner. So when I confronted him that he contradicts himself, and his position and his that and the previous head of school he turned against me and i believe that's why he shows hatred towards me while i never sh I, I used to actually to like the guy very much because he's very nice but i have no idea why he turned and betrayed me so please avoid being friendly with lecturers. Uh, you'll find in year two and three loads of programming. I'm not sure why. Maybe because Ireland is not a, uh, does not have like uh, factories or uh, hardware uh, factories to uh, to to to. Uh, to to manufacture silicon semiconductors, 
devices or something i'm not sure really why is everything in dcu 60 percent programming and it's very difficult in year two okay you will find yourself having the course object oriented programming with derek and he gives tutorials and he's very nice and everything but in year three you find yourself doing a data structure and algorithms with the computer science guys and there is no one to help there is no tutorials you're just on your own so you'll probably fail so you need to focus on that uh, also about their examinations they uh, tend to give the exam in the final week of the semester and also they tend to uh, like one of them is the French lecturer called Pascal he actually gave us the exam he told us this question this question this question will come to again in a module called electromagnetism electromagnetics sorry And data link and radio, radio uh, RF and uh, data link design. And every all, all the examinations that this you you just find the uh, past papers containing every question that would come in an exam, which is fucking ridiculous. Because if you if you just don't study anything and just do the 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 the, 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 the past papers you will pass and you will become a failure of an engineer for the next point if you manage to uh, to pass um, yeah, the next the next down point about DCU is the intra internship. They mix between computer science students and the engineers. So if you and they sent you, they send you. Maeve Long, she Maeve, uh, I don't know her name. They, she's the intra co coordinator. She's very nice, but she sends. She, she sends irrelevant students for jobs like I'm a telecommunication engineer studying telecommunication she sent along with me an Irish electronic engineer and he took my job because well basically I don't know I'm not sure if the, the, the company was racist or not but uh, they saw that he is an Irish they took him so do not put much hope on uh, on this intra internship and apply for all jobs because and you will find all jobs are programming or almost all of them and they have nothing to do with engineering nothing to do with semiconductors transistors uh, rf uh, components circuits anything at all Also, there are very few lecturers in that school of electronics. There is one, Marisa Condon, she's very nice, but she teaches circuits, systems, and uh, signals. So she teaches all, like, like so many modules. And there's another, uh, another lecturer, Ronan Scaife, he teaches about everything in this year. She teaches maths, she teaches uh, electronics, analog electronics, uh, digital signal processing, and even he is a co lecturer with Marisa in signals. So 
this school of electronics they are a gang do not again do not again do not try to be friendly with them or try to contact them a lot because they are not good people and do not believe that they are independent from each other they are not independent from each other there is a they they their office in this on the third floor of the s building stokes building you will find a very small corridor and that the, all the rooms are like as if they are living together all of them the next thing is if you don't uh, have your entra don't panic just do the uh, again the entra is not the entra process is not nice they don't secure your job So uh, if you are like thinking, I'm just giving you my review about DCU and it's up to you to decide if you want to enter this university or enter a better university. Now for year four, as I said, in year one, two, three, they give, they, most of them give the exam at, at the final uh, week of the year, of the semester. And they give you past papers, and it's actually on the website. If you go to dcu.ie and search for past papers, you will find all the past papers with solutions, and some of them are on Loop website. But in year four, which DCU considers as the overall results, I'm not sure how overall is it is. Because it's not overall at all. It's only uh, it states on the transcript that the result for year four is like that. Like I got in year one two point one, semester one two point one, semester two two point two point one, year two two point one, semester one and two, year three at two point one, semester one and two point two in semester two. Or the, uh, the other way around, due to uh, a programming module. Yet, in year four, I ended up with a lower. I will tell you why. Because in, uh, in uh, the final year, in year four, they don't give lectures. There is no lectures. It's only slides. Someone com comes in and stays for uh, three hours to uh, talk, talk, talk about uh, and sw sw swipe between slides. That's it. There is no pen and paper or choke or taking notes or anything. And you'll find yourself not going to lectures because it's recorded online. It's video recorded. Why? Because ma the master student have the part-time option so the uh, DCU instead of teaching normal like the, their students their own students and this is uh, actually rubbish from DCU they, they, they should focus on their undergrad students not their master students who may have been studying at another university or another country no they don't give a shit about their students they just make uh, videos about uh, lectures, lectures, there is no tutorials, there is no help in year four at all. You will find yourself facing about 400 pages, which you have no idea, which could come in the exam. Well, yeah, there is there are there are the the uh, past papers you can do, but 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 again, it's tricky. You would end up with a lesser uh, overall results, which is again is, is an evidence that this year is a failure. Because normally students 
they uh, achieve higher results in year four in final year than in previous years now this year it's the other way around you get the highest uh, overall like myself in year one two three and in year four you don't um, also in year four there is the final year project it's a pain in the neck and it's not good it's not nice basically you are one person one is one student per project and your life your marks everything is dependent on the supervisor who's a lecturer so if this supervisor for some reason gets upset from you you're fucked like my, my supervisor was uh, Pascal Londé the French lecturer he suddenly got aggressive against me and was fighting with me for no reason. I didn't fight with him. He was very aggressive because the project he gave me was about reflective semiconductor or optical amplifier. Again, optical amplifier, not laser. So he wanted me to answer a question saying that Reflective semiconductor opti optical amplifier is laser. I told him it's not. To my knowledge, if, if it is laser, then what's the point of the whole fucking project? So I apologized to him, yet he told me to stay at home. And he told me that he did not want to harass me on this occasion. So it's okay for this new staff to harass students. I went into problems with them because, uh, as I said, they are all a gang in the School of Electronics. So him and the second assessor, they ganged up against me and gave me a fail mark while I was abandoned in mid-year, in February, by Pascal. He did not offer any help. He did not respond to my emails. He did not contact me or meet me like the usual. He used, before he was fighting with me, he was used to send me emails, to send me emails saying like, what's up, how is it going, and, and meetings and stuff. He stopped doing that. And he did not give me a, a code for the, the MATLAB code for the, the simulation. So how the hell am I going to simulate the, 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 the project? Yet he has the guts. I don't know how is he a man at all to give me a fail mark while he abandoned my project. When I repeated the year because of that, his other friend, his body, it's called Liam Berry. I found myself doing the uh, module optical communication design, EE454. I did very, very well, exactly as uh, the answer papers. Like I said, the past papers had the uh, sample answered question which is exactly uh, as it comes in the exam so i answered and i and uh, i saw that i failed this pro this module so i went to see my paper i found very funny marks very low marks on correct answers some of them does not have the uh, the final, uh, uh, the final number is correct, but the steps are okay. Yet he gave me two over fourteen in two or three questions. In one question, I answered the whole question satisfactorily, correctly to the very last decimal, three point two two, something like that, or thirty point two just because I did not put the units 
he gave me three over 14 or four over 14. Imagine 10 marks deducted because I did not put the unit. When I asked him, why do you hate me so much? Is it Pascal the reason? He said, how would I know your paper? Well, it's bullshit. Because on the answer paper on the, on the front, I know it's, there is a, an exam, exam number, which is secure, but your course is written on the, the outer paper, on the, on the cover paper. So, Mike, I'm, I was the only student doing that program. He said, how would I know you? Yes, he did. He's just acting as an idiot. Because I'm the only student doing that course and he knew me because of that course. And Pascal used to know me, to know, to know me actually. When he used to be my friend, he, know, he, knows, he knew my paper because I write the, because uh, I used to, I'm a, a French talk speaker. So I write the, the uh, 1.4 or my 1.5 is decimal point, uh, not point, I write it as virgule as a um, comma so that's why, why he knows my people so uh, after I appealed actually I, I also if you find University of Limerick UCD uh, any other university they take some amount of fees from you to revise and check your paper in DCU there is I did not find an appeal office a proper official appeal office there is no appeal office you just pay 100 euros to the office of the vice president and they give you a template that they give to anyone that your appeal is negative God knows if they did anything at all to the appeal or not. And a proof of that, that the, that the appeal process does not exist, they just take the 100 euros. I received an email from the uh, program chair of my course. He was, he, was, he was helpful, but again, it's not nice. He did a bargain with me. Imagine yourself in the university and a, a, a lecturer bargains with you about your future. He told me, you either sit the exam with, with Barry, with Liam Barry, and probably I would get the fail mark again, or I can compensate it. and not enter the exam. So imagine that they bargain with their students, they make deals to cover up for their mess. This is DCU for you and I explained to you many reasons why you should not enter DCU. Well, uh, DCU Act has, uh, they disabled my email account and my DCU account, username and password because, uh, yeah, I forgot to, to mention that the lady, Jennifer Bruton, who uh, is responsible for the uh, project, mainly everything in DCU, the projects, of the undergraduate projects, master's projects, master's applications yet and she's a lecturer and she gives fail marks for most of her students the all my friends come to me and uh, in mechatronics tell me that jennifer jenny uh, gave us fail mark and imagine that she does not have a phd she does not have even an, an Masters of Engineering. She does not even. She is not even registered with Engineers Ireland. She is not even uh, an official Irish engineer. She has a bachelor degree, 
and God knows if it if it's an ordinary bachelor or a honor, honors bachelor. So, if you are applying for a master's degree, she gets to decide. Do you think that someone with a with a bachelor degree and who may have issues, psychological issues, feeling of inferiority, would allow a student to go do the masters, or is it okay for for a university to to assign someone like her without proper qualifications to decide who? does the masters and who doesn't it's total joke so when i responded to her against the insult of calling me names calling me unsuitable she went ahead or i'm not sure i'm not exactly sure if she did or not or, or someone else Someone went to the chief operations officer, which is like the legal of this year, and she complained against me that I'm harassing her by emails, which is not true. I only told her that I'm not sure why am I refused, and it is stated on the DSC website that she should, at the program share of the masters, explain her words unsuitable she did not explain them so when i just told her that you are not suitable as well because you you would only hold them a, a bachelor degree she got uh, burning and she went to the the chief uh, i don't know operations officer which i had never heard about and i should never hear about in a proper university, because it's not a proper university. Because I'm a DCU graduate, I should not, I did not do anything criminal, anything bad. I don't. Ha I do have very decent marks. I should not hear about this person. Yet he disabled my account, my email account, and hacked it. And forbidden access to me to access my transcripts and all the online services so this is DCU for you and this is my review against not against a review about DCU and I'm saying my advice do not enter this university you will regret it uh, unless you're entering like another school, not the school of electronics. I'm only speaking about the school of electronics. Do not, only as a review, as a past student, as a BNG from this year, it's a very bad staff at the school of electronics, very corrupt. They keep pimping for each other. It's very, very bad. You don't, you, there is no justice. Even when I tried, I, I asked if I could, I could complain. Someone named Noel Murphy, who was in the executive, uh, school executive board, he threatened me that if I submitted a complaint, he would destroy the complaint and would further abuse my marks so they abused my marks in year four they harassed me by email or to all did an operation on my back surgical operation they keep ha they kept harassing me the head of school they showed hatred and racism and the discrimination from everyone, whether Noel Murphy, Pascal Lundi, Liam Berry, Prince and Raja, the Sri Lankan guy, who actually talked about my confidential self to my friend. And uh, Derek Molloy, which 
I did not do anything bad to him, that he did not support my application. So again, I'm telling you, it's a very corrupt, very bad school, the School of Electronics at the CU, and please avoid it. And uh, this is my advice. Uh, if you want to go to the course, uh, it's up to you. But this is my review of DCU engineering, uh, basically about the School of Electronic Engineering. Thanks for watching and uh, give some up or some down as you wish. Thank you.